Look at these mask holes. These mouth-breathing, nose-revealing, bird-brained homunculi mask holes. It feels like people just aren't wearing masks, and they should be. Uh, I'm only talking about America, by the way. This is kind of a uniquely American problem. So what are we gonna do about it? What am I going to do about it? Well, I could make a fun educational video about how safe and effective masks are with like a flamethrower on my mouth and a mask and... No, no. There's so many smart people made so many good videos about how masks are safe and effective, and if that worked, it would have worked by now. No, this is not a world of fact anymore, this is a world of opinion and emotion, and if there's one thing that coronavirus protesters actually care about, it's the Second Amendment. That's right, guns! Sorry, YouTube doesn't like that word. It's bullet launchers! And American problems demand American solutions. That's right, we're gonna make these people understand whether they want to or not. I'm gonna put together the Second Amendment with healthcare. That's right, guns and public safety. Boom, best of both worlds. We're gonna flare this brass tube and pretend it's brake line because the line to get into Pet Boys is way shorter than the line to get into Home Depot. Uh, actually, in fact, let's just Franken solder brake line adapter to make this whole thing. We're gonna use 3 16th brake line to make four barrels for a pneumatic launcher, and we're using the thin stuff because I'm concerned about airflow. This guy here is very, very cool. This is a CO2 solenoid valve, 800 psi. I use these to make a grappling hook swing set for Colin versus Christmas present. Thanks again, Nami Wu. These things are absolutely awesome. The one downside is they have a very small pee pee hole. On top of all that, uh, the, our barrel splits into like four different barrels and they're all at right angles to each other, which is a big no-no for pneumatic launching. So I want to do a quick dry fire test just to eyeball to see if this thing has enough juice to <laughs> CO2 solenoid test, three, two, one. Oh my God, oh Jesus. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it shot all the way over there in the corner. Yeah, I think that's uh, enough juice. So 800 PSI is like a bajillion PSI, so I can make these barrels way shorter. The projectiles are just tube nuts that fit over the brake line anyways, and we're gonna use the spray paint pistol grip and convert it into a spray paint pistol grip with electronics. And this is the part where you imagine an interesting laser cutting montage, and we're done. Oh! <laughs> well, it's got some oomph. Oh. <laughs> if this was a normal gun, this would be bad because it means we didn't hit this guy in the face. But this is sort of like a combination bola net gun and the weights we want to actually go around this guy's head um, because they're gonna be attached to strings that hopefully like wrap around and get tangled up so that the minerals get stuck right on his face. Kinda hard to aim though. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This thing looks absolutely freaking insane. I don't know what I thought this was gonna look like when I started making it. I wouldn't have guessed alien, sci-fi, alt history, steampunk, but here we are. Each of these projectile weights has a neodymium magnet at the very tip of it, and that's what keeps it securely on the barrel. These brass tubes are for line retention or string retention. It's what keeps everything untangled and ready to fire. And I don't know, I was just able to find a pretty stiff surgical mask that just sits there and fits perfectly behind the projectiles and is really secure without any additional adhesives. Although, talking about adhesives, I have a feeling that we're gonna need to put something on the inside of the mask just to like doubly ensure that this thing actually sticks to a face. I, just, I mean, look at this thing. Look, it just, at this point, it wouldn't even have to work. I think it just has enough intimidation factor. It's, it's lovely. I'm not really sure how the laser is lined up. So I'm gonna use the laser to aim for like his, his neck, I guess, or his clavicle. All right, let's put a mask on this guy. Hopefully in three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, now we're safe. Oh, I should put a mask on. Sorry, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Take a look at that. The, the top two weights tangled together perfectly. The bottom two weights uh, kind of bounce around a bit, which isn't ideal. But you can see the double-sided foam tape. Make sure the mask sticks securely onto this guy's face. 
After a few more tries, it became clear that first shot was one in a million. The laser really helped with the left-right centering, but getting the right up and down angle is actually really challenging. So usually the mask either gets too high or it lands too low and exposes the person's nose, which is wrong. Also, in this last shot, I accidentally strangled this dude instead of putting a mask on his face. So we're ready for human trials. Mask on point blank, three, two, one. Point blank, three, two, one. Oh, yes! It works! Now let's shoot some people. We're at Huntington Beach, California, one of the most conservative cities in Southern California, and it's become kind of a symbol for anti-mask sentiment. You probably saw this viral video from last month where a couple of surfer dudes tried to hand out free masks here, and it doesn't go great. He's pissed. So me and my trusty cameraman, girl, Thea, are gonna demonstrate my invention to the locals. And then we're gonna go hunting for any Karens willing to get shot in the face for public health. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna hold my breath. Three, two, one. What went wrong, Thea? I cannot be held responsible for the direction that the wind blows in, Alan, or for debatably shoddy craftsmanship. What, is, what are you talking about? The problem is that one of the four bullet weights exploded during that first shot. I don't have any spare parts with me, and there's no way to even fire the mask gun with only three projectiles. I made like a, I don't want to call it a gun, but it's like a, it's a, a shooter. It's a no, it's a launcher. <laughs> But they're just having a lot of technical difficulties right now. Yo, the so concept don't give up. Don't yeah. work. <laughs> well, now I have to fix it. Now I have to fix this damn thing. <laughs> I'm gonna cover the exploded tube nut in duct tape so it's at least launchable again. But now the projectiles are asymmetrical. So I'm gonna have to break the other three and tape them back up in the same way. The gun's way crappier this way, but that's better than not working at all. Here's the thing, I came here fully expecting that people are gonna get angry at me and I even brought my running shoes just in case, you know, things got racist. I don't know if it was just the time of day and the percent of locals versus tourists or if maybe people are actually coming around to the idea of masks, but there's a ton of people wearing masks here. I mean, it's not a majority, it's probably like 25% at best, but we're outside and this is Huntington freaking Beach. Of course, there's still anti-maskers here, but it's hard not to compare this to Chad's footage from last month and think that maybe, just maybe, people are starting to understand. It turns out people here might be more on the same page than I thought they would be. So instead of going hunting, we're gonna go focus group testing. If you're gonna do this, you gotta wear a mask and gloves because you don't know where my hands have been. <laughs> oh, you got a mask? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you want a free one for the road? Sure. sure. There you, go. you can get it though, you'll be, you'll be a legend. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you only, you got, you put a mask on the stand. No, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get a countdown next time. <laughs> I mean, that was close. Have you ever shot any type of launcher before? Not a mask launcher, <laughs> Not that's for sure. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. That was, that was, that was, that was totally, that was, that was totally up to, or here, yeah, elbow, elbow, elbow hit, yeah. yeah. What were y'all saying, like, Adam's apple? Yeah. yeah, Adam's apple. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, you basically got it. I would say any rate of failure there was uh, probably rests in the launcher side of things. <laughs> yeah, probably, but let's not dwell on it. It stuck and then it fell off. <laughs> that was so close, dude. I'd that call that a good. win. That's a win. That's definitely a win. That counts, for sure. What do you What do you think of this invention? It's fun. <laughs> I think it's priceless. Oh, priceless. see, there we go. <laughs> if you saw someone walk in in like a Walmart, they weren't wearing a mask. Would you shoot them with this? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's awesome. We're allowed to use the Second Amendment to like protect ourselves, right? Protect ourselves. Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't think that's what it was intended for. Well, it wasn't intended for a lot of I things. I love but. interpretations. <laughs> Karen Wrangler.